To the Japanese people, Mount Fuji is more than just the tallest mountain in the country. It's the iconic tower of greatness and a symbol of the land. Naturally, the speedway that sits at the foothills of the sacred mountain, Fuji Speedway, carries a similar cachet in the auto industry. So when a car manufacturer attaches an F that stands for Fuji Speedway to the name of a car, they mean business. Let's just say it's not some random letter they chose out of a hat. The F pedigree was first introduced to us with the high-performance ISF. Then came the ISF CCSR, developed specifically for track racing. Then the limited production LFA supercar. In 2015, Lexus released the RCF, and now the GSF, which is kind of a bigger brother of the RCF, even though it came out later. It shares the same 5-liter V8 with the RCF that churns out 467 horsepower at 7,100 RPM and 389 pound-feet of torque at 4,800 RPM. It could get from 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds and top track speed is 167.8 miles per hour. Yeah, so mileage sucks at 16 city and 24 highway, but if you really care about gas, you should be looking at the GS450H hybrid that yields 29 city and 34 highway. We like the GSF not only because it has the response and power, but because it's easiest to drive, most practical, and best bang for your buck out of them all. Let's not kid ourselves. If you're not Scott Pruitt, you're not even close to bringing out the full potential of a car like this. That goes for any car in this class, like the BMW M5 or Cadillac CTS V. What we enthusiasts want is to be in control behind the wheel when we push the car. And the GSF offers that confidence, much more so than the RCF. In Sport Plus mode, the car hunkers down and power is transferred to the ground via the 8-speed automatic and torque vectoring differential that optimizes the torque distribution during cornering. I tried out an RCF that was on site without the TVD, and boy, there was a big difference in corner handling. By the way, the TVD comes standard on the GSF. The GSF chassis and suspension have received enhancements to improve overall performance. Six-piston front and four-piston rear Brembos are standard on the GSF for added stopping power. Michelin Pilot Super Sports wrap the 19-inch 10-spoke forged aluminum alloy wheels. The GSF is 76 pounds heavier than the RCF, which is also another reason why it's a lot more forgiving than the RCF on track, boosting my little confidence level up. The GSF may be larger, but sleek in design. Don't forget the signature spindle grill fascia, which I wasn't so much of a fan, but have grown to like. It comes with a carbon fiber lip spoiler, diffuser, and stacked exhausts. The cockpit is outfitted with Alcantara, carbon fiber accents, and perforated leather steering with the F badge, aluminum pedals, and an adaptive meter that has more modes than Star Wars Battlefront. It comes with GSF specific high back sports seats that lock you in a place when on track and are also comfortable on longer rides. Lexus gave us plenty of seat time on the track, which we never say no to, and the drive to Chuckwalla from Palm Springs was 70 miles one way. It's the first F model luxury sedan which means you can actually fit people in the back without crushing their knees. As a family man, it starts looking like a good option when you want to balance driving performance and practicality. This car is going up against some heavy hitters in the market, but at a little over 85000 it's a good deal for what it offers. And that's why the GSF may be our favorite F yet. This is Tara Koki from GT Channel. Thanks for watching. Check out our other videos and don't forget to subscribe.